hello guys uh, today we are going to install VMware update manager so it's actually a virtual machine which is hosted on my desktop and I have installed a vCenter on this server itself let's see if we have sufficient amount of RAM and CPUs yes I think And I think it's good enough. Let's start with the setup. But before doing a setup, we should do some basic things like new database creation for vCenter Update Manager. My system will be a little bit slow, so I really regret for that. So let's create a database, a very simple and straightforward database we'll be creating here. Let's name this database as UP. Now we have to create an ODBC connection and in case of VMware update manager we require 32 bit of ODBC connection but in case of vCenter we require 64 bit. So in this case we will be using 32 bit system DSN. Uh, you can see here it's like platform 64 bit and in this we are going to add a 32 bit. SQL Server native client. Just give the name. Server name. I'm just using my IP address. SQL authentication we are going to use. So let it be. We'll assign the database app. Yeah. Our database name was Update Manager TV. Oh, I'm sorry. Finish. Let's do that. Yes. Test complete successful. Okay. Okay. Now we'll start with Update Manager installation. Spare update manager install. My system is little slow so I'm sorry for that you have to bear with me or you can fast forward it I'll try to edit this part of the video so that it won't buffer for you a lot okay so this is the welcome message it's next you know try to read the agreements if you want to download the update from the default source immediately after the installation no, I don't need it right now and here is a vCenter let's give it What's the password let's go next here is the existing database support we have to give her the information and 
next and you have to give this a password warning the database is currently set to the full recovery mode if such things pop up then what you're supposed to do is go to properties options and in the full you can just make it as simple right right click ok verify everything you want to assign if, if you have any proxy in your system or infrastructure I don't have that generally we prescribe to give it in a different folders or in a different drive it's always a best practice apart from that there is a minimum disk requirement I think it's 120 GB yes 120 GB so I don't require that this is a test infrastructure and install so it's a very straightforward and simple installation but after installation it requires lots of configurations so since this, this video is more on uh, installation I'll just walk you through the end of finish apart from everything is done I'll try to make a different video where mm -hmm. we'll try to walk through the update manager the basic overview I'm really sorry guys because this is my first video and I am making it for the very first time so there will be lots of mistake you can definitely leave your comments what should I improve what is there need to be done and I need to go through lots of changes and modification I know that but since this is my beginning let's see and let's read your feedbacks Thank you. It's done. Now I hate it. So let's see. All the services are running. Skill. My skill agent is not running. Let's make it automatic and let it run. Okay. So update manager services are seems to be running. Let's go and check out if we are able to connect it. Cross fingers because from last couple of days I was trying and there was a bug in my operating system because of that I was not able to configure update manager which I recently resolved it by patching the operating system so it's my a trial license 60 days and if you're not able to see manage plugins download and install since it installs the plugin and now we'll find a new icon down there so just wait a minute yes yes we can see and icon popping up for the update manager 
we can see we can create here a baseline groups configurations notif events notification this is a patch repository esxi image v upgrades in the configurations you will find your proxy setting which we missed out that time it should be somewhere here network connectivity i'm sorry so thank you guys these are the configuration which you can find everything out here okay so here is your proxy setting actually missed it because it's a long time i'm accessing using it so these all are the basic settings you can swipe around and check it thank you guys thanks for watching this video thanks a lot please leave your message below feedbacks 